The M Health Grand Tour was a cycling challenge presented by the GSMA and the International Diabetes Federation European Region under the patronage of European Commission Vice President Nelly Cruz. Its purpose was to prove that mobile health solutions can help people with diabetes live fuller lives. The ride departed from Brussels and after 2100 kilometers and 22,000 meters of climbs arrived in Barcelona, the mobile world capital. A research study into the effects of multi-day endurance exercise on blood glucose levels was conducted during the ride. Taking part were 10 professional and 10 amateur athletes with type 1 diabetes, plus 10 athletes without diabetes. Designed by Professor Michael Trinell of Newcastle University, the study's purpose was to begin to form evidence-based exercise guidance for all people with diabetes. To enable the study, the GSMA formed a cross-industry partnership to build an entirely wireless mHealth solution. Dexcom provided continuous glucose monitors worn by the riders, a heart rate monitor and bike computer collected other statistics, Ant Plus provided short-range connectivity between devices, and Sony Mobile provided handsets on which the riders tracked their stats. HMM provided machine-to-machine -machine modules that transmitted the data to a live web portal and to the cloud for later download. McCann Health provided web data visualization, and Orange provided the software platform that tied all the technology together, as well as mobile connectivity throughout the five countries. This is the, the largest, probably the largest study of type 1 diabetes patients um, which has ever been put together, I guess, particularly out in the field under free living conditions. So it's extremely exciting to be involved in. <laughs> At Dexcom, we feel that empowering patients is our number one goal. Uh, diabetes and often medicine in general is too often viewed as a spectator sport and it doesn't allow people to take control and to manage uh, to their own personal needs. For people with type 1 diabetes, uh, exercise really does throw a, a spanner in the works for their, how they manage their disease um, and unfortunately exercise really does change how their body responds to insulin when it's administered. Uh, and unfortunately exercise can be actually quite dangerous for them in that the blood sugar levels can drop dangerously low so there's not enough sugar for the brain essentially meaning that they can experience what's called hypoglycemia um, and that can range from just feeling hungry going pale pins and needles to in, in more severe cases actually leading to collapse seizure and, and very rarely uh, death and research does suggest that many of them will just simply avoid exercising altogether um, which is obviously a concern because exercise does actually carry many health benefits for them. The Continuum Health Alliance is supporting the M Health Grand Tour because they based the mobile architecture and the mobile elements on the Continua design guidelines. They did this because of the interoperability and the ability to deploy the system quickly. Qualcomm Life is investing in M Health solutions so that we can help bring these systems to market, commercialize them, so that people with chronic disease can use them to manage their conditions much better. For example, the diabetics in this ride we're able to get information 24-7 to be able to manage the condition much more effectively. Orange team has presented more than 50 employees all involved in this course, all involved in the M-Health solution, and Orange present uh, the way that we see innovation through M-Health solution, working in a medical field with the university, with the Dexcom, with the, what we consider the, the medical partners, and very close to the diabetic association, very close to the patients, so we can link both two sides and put in the table what industrials should provide. Here at Ericsson, we believe that network society is only in the beginning. And it is where everything that benefits from being connected will be connected. And this fantastic initiative from GSMA fits perfectly into that. And I'm really impressed by the achievements of the riders, but also by what technology can achieve to support such an active lifestyle. We're a not-for-profit social enterprise company set up to help all people with diabetes or those at risk of diabetes to safely engage in sports and exercise. On every turn of the wheel from Brussels to Barcelona, the riders were connected so that they could follow their own health and well-being throughout the race. And this was all done through mobile robot networks. 
what we're here for is to help our customers and our staff as well. Uh, we're looking at improving uh, awareness of health and encouraging people to take more active lifestyle, but also to look at new innovations and to identify new partners working across boundaries uh, to, to come up with new innovations and solutions that will help uh, manage diabetes and other uh, M health related uh, issues. We think that uh, the people uh, with diabetes that uh, they are doing the whole the epic uh, challenges is is amazing because uh, for us they are heroes because we are doing only three days. I think again with the, the mobile health uh, app and the development of that for the future that will be a great opportunity to, to have something like that available on it, your mobile phone rather than carrying another few computers around with you or we all there in, in one little app on the phone that everybody uses on a day to day basis. So, Overall, great, great people, great experience, great, I say, cause, but, but overall, yeah, brilliant, brilliant opportunity of a lifetime, I think.